Yeah. So we're gonna chill here for probably, what do you think? An hour and a half, two hours, something an like hour. that? Yeah. yeah. We'll see. We're no, in no rush to, to go anywhere. Except maybe to eat. <laughs> yeah. Most always is in a rush to eat. <laughs> Good morning. We are back here next to the trail to the Klonk. And we actually decided to park very close to the entrance, actually. We realized where it was yesterday on our failed mission down to rent a kayak. So we decided to park on the street. It's a little more expensive if you're parking for more than eight hours than the parking lot we parked yesterday. But this is a better location. It's right here. And I think we'll make it back before the seven or eight hour mark. So should be good. So this is the hike to the three Klonks. And we start here kind of near town. There's a parking lot right here that you can park at for eight euros or you can also if you're early enough like we are today we're starting about 7 15 7 30 that we'll be able to find street parking so melissa is handling and parking right there melissa you said nine hours for eight euro yes 30 minutes for free and then nine hours for eight euro so that should be plenty of time this is where we're parked right here along this side of the street the entrance to the hike is right there behind this nice big house there's a little alley that turns over there so we're gonna get started i am very excited let's see what melissa thinks I'm also excited for this hike. She's taking care of business first. I am, but it canceled my transactions. I don't know what's mm. going on. So one thing I want to mention is that we brought our hiking poles on our hike today. And this is from a brand called Fox Heli. Fox Selly. Fox Selly. We got nice hiking poles here. And these fold down or not fold down, but you can take these sections apart and fit them in your bag really nicely. They have these cork handles here, which are supposed to be the best type of handles. Thank you for Fox Selly for sending these to us. Definitely check them out if you're looking for hiking poles. We're going to test them out today and tell you how they work. Melissa and I also have new hiking shoes. Shoes. We'll see how these goes. I always like the La Sportiva brand. I've always used the La Sportiva brand. My last hiking shoes, they're still good, um, but I, I've had them, what do you think, mostly like five or six years at least. Yeah. And hundreds and hundreds of miles uh, hiking. So these are, um, I usually do the trail runners, but I got a little bit higher version this time for some more ankle support. So we'll see how these go. Ready to hike? Yep. You the car? Yep. All right guys, this is the start of the hike here. It doesn't seem like anyone is here right now. So that's perfect. So we are here at the back of Port Mew. Mew? I don't know how you say it. And we'll have to walk. There's basically only one route to get to Port Peen, but from Port Peen, you could take the scenic coastal route, which is where we're gonna go. And it'll take you to Kalonk Den Val. There's a viewpoint there, and then I think you can like scale down. And then on the way back, we'll probably take the inland route because it's faster back. So to um, Kalonk Denval, it's one hour and 50 minutes, one way. It's probably gonna be about 40 minutes longer because we're gonna take the scenic coastal route. So like two and a half hours, but yeah, should be pretty good. very steeply, very quickly. First part of the hike is just flat surface for about, I don't know, 200, 300 meters, and then there's the climb, but then the views right from the start. I mean, look at that. into our hike, really probably 25 because we had to take some breaks to fix Mostly shoe, shoe tying breaks. Yeah. <laughs> but we arrived at Port Peen 
so peaceful. It's this little cove inlet. Later during the day, this will be filled with people, but right now it's just us. This is not the best time to um, stay here at Port Pean because it's in the shade right now, so and the water's cold. <laughs> so later in the day when there's sun, we'll come here and just hang out at the beach for a little bit. But yeah, it's beautiful. And this definitely reminds me, I was just telling Melissa, of like the Monterey, California area. And like those headlands over there, the, some of the hikes that we've done look very similar to this. So far, really good. I think we literally saw two other people on the trail today. Start early because the sun rises very quickly and starts beating down on you. Like, mm -hmm. I'm already sweating and... and we started at like 7.30, yeah. so... Right after Port Peen, just like, just a few steps, there is a Y. You just have to veer straight to the left and that's the more scenic coastal route. That'll take an hour and a half. So that's the way we're gonna go. I see other people going this way, but they're missing out. Yeah, the straight path. So if you go this way, that's the inland path. And then this way is the blue path and the coastal path. So always take the coastal path. Always. The blue path starts off with a very steep climb up. So this is what it looks like. We've almost made it to the top, I think. Very thankful of our hiking poles today. Definitely making this hike a lot easier than it otherwise would be without. Yeah, it's very useful climbing up and then also going down. It just helps a lot. Ah, very nice. We've now reached the end of Port Pin clock. This is the second clock. And then we were just down there earlier where we are gonna go swimming later this afternoon uh, on the way back. It is a beautiful hike so far. After the first little uphill section, the steep climb on the blue path, the rest of the way so far has been relatively flat. So that's been nice. But yeah, so far the views here are amazing. How's the hike so far? It's not bad. It's not strenuous, but uh, I don't know. Like we're sweating buckets. <laughs> <laughs> the sun's not too bad right now. We've made it 79 minutes, about two miles. And we're basically at the beginning of Kalong Denval, but we're really high up. So we're gonna have a steep descent down to the beach. Yeah, but check the view guys, look at this. Gotta make it somewhere down there, all the way down there. We're really, really high up now. But if you can see beyond these cliffs, that's the Mediterranean Ocean right there. That's so cool how like steep these cliffs are. We've now reached the point where the scenic route meets the inland route. And looking at the sign, um, apparently if you wanted the panoramic route to Port Peen, to from Port Peen takes an hour or the inland route only takes 20 minutes. So the scenic route was an extra 40 minutes. But now we want to go down to Kalong Denbao. Which is 30 minutes, it's right? 30 minutes down, yes. This part is where you go down and it's quite a steep descent. Ready? So that's where hiking poles come in handy. Yep, let's do it. Now, Things are very steep. Now what are you gonna do? When they say difficult path, it's legitimately kind of hard. You gotta scramble at some portions and the drop-offs are quite big. But Melissa is a trooper. She's scrambling down this thing like nothing else. You good? She's good. We made it down the steep section. I mean, it wasn't horrible. It was a short little section. What yeah, do you think? That's true. It it wasn't horrible. It was short, but it was very steep and rocky, very rocky. Yeah. Melissa was saying people do that in flip flops. I don't advise no. that. <laughs> Make sure you have some good hiking shoes, hiking boots, hiking poles definitely do help. Now arrived at Klonk 
Dundal. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but there were a handful of people here when we got here, mm -hmm. but still, um, not a lot of people. It's, it's pretty quiet. Yeah, there's only like- Very peaceful. The sun is starting to peak over, so it should be suitable for swimming very soon. There are people in it. They don't look like they're cold, so maybe yeah. it's not that cold. And we made it here in less than two hours, just under two hours, even taking the scenic yes. route along the coast. So not too bad. I think it'll probably take us an hour and a half. To get back? Yeah. Unfortunately, we do have to climb back up the hill. But it's not, it's not that long. Yeah, no, it's not. So we're gonna chill here. I mean, just look at the scenery. It's really, really beautiful here. Totally worth the hike down here. This is pretty amazing. Yeah. So we're gonna chill here for probably, what do you think? An hour and a half, two hours, something an hour, like that. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. We're no in, in no rush to, to go anywhere. Except maybe to eat. <laughs> yeah. Most always is in a rush to eat. <laughs> wow, look at the water. Super clear. It's chilly. A little bit. You gonna go swimming? I don't know. It's cold. I gotta warm up to this. Yeah, more sun. It's not too bad. You just kind of have to go for it. Ready? Catch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, come on, Your turn. Your turn to do what? What are your thoughts about this beach? It's super nice, very peaceful, and great for taking a nap under this tree. We found, Melissa found a really nice spot under this tree. It's like half in the shade, half in the sun, so it's perfect. It's getting busier though. It's getting to be like 11.35, 11.40, and the kayak showed up, and then more and more hikers showed up, so I think, yeah, around noon is when everybody kind of gets here. rode their bikes over here. How do you ride a bike here? Well, you could drive, so maybe they took the path that the car took. Huh. So maybe there is a different path. But yeah, I think we're gonna head back here pretty soon. We had a really good time here. This water is really, really cool. It's cold, but not super cold where it's not swimmable. That's true. It's still swimmable. Oh, and people are doing cliff jumps over there. So this is the beach in Kalang and Vu and View. Is that right? So we climbed up a little bit over here and now you can see this overlook point just beyond is the beach that we were at just now. It is amazing here. We're about to wrap it up. We're gonna take some photos here and then head back up the mountain and then head back towards town for some lunch. Thank you.